Yo guys, so we are reviewing the Yonex ESO 98 today. Yeah, well, well, I mean, of course we're not biased, just all, like always, it's just another bracket. Obviously. We, we don't care what brand it is, so, yeah. Let's go! <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to Gladiator Status and today we're reviewing the highly anticipated, mainly by me, Yonex ESO 98 2022 edition. Guys, I'm getting too excited, let's start, check out the specs. Grisha, Grisha, please control yourself. I see those yes. tears of, I know it's happiness, but. <laughs> Guys, I mean, first of all, this racket is endorsed by like 100,000 billion players on the tour, except for the only one who should be endorsing it. Me, all right? Uh, I mean, I'm super excited for this because I really like the previous version. I, I was actually considering to, you know, switch rackets, but I was waiting for this. So this is, this is really important for me, all right? No, now. Woohoo! Yonex ESO 98 2022. The previous version of the racket left me with very many worrying thoughts. Thoughts of potentially switching my racket to the ESO 98. However, the new version was very close to its release, so I decided to wait a little bit. And here it is. It was supposed to be a bit more controlled than the previous one, and that was really exciting for me. As the 2018 ESO was just a bit too much in terms of power in my opinion. Now to the playtest. I wouldn't really say that the racket became that much more controlled and the power is still something that I would have to get used to. Though the feel and the stability, man, it's just something else. Yonex really does something magical with its isometric head and, and all the technology that it implements in its rackets. Let me start from the shot that stood out immensely with this racket. It has to be the serve. I don't think I ever served more aces and unreturnable serves in the playtest. I don't know why and how, but I was managing to hit the T, and I mean like the actual T, every single time. Managing to give the ball crazy speeds with very little effort. So yes, precision on the serve was outstanding, with both flat serves and slice serves. Second serves were pretty good too. I could achieve pretty decent topspin and uh, open the court quite a bit. Nothing like with other 98 inch rackets, though that is something that we come to expect with Yonex rackets. They're always better at that than other 98s. To the forehand now. Even though my highlights might say the opposite, I really like the racket playing with my forehand. I'm currently intensively working on this shot and changing a few things, so my confidence wasn't exactly there for the playtest, but the racket is not to blame here. Some of my forehand approach shots were flying to the fence instead of the court, but let's not focus on that too much. Even with all that, I could really see the potential, huge potential with the new E-Zone. It's great for flat aggressive shots and it really has your back in uncomfortable scenarios where all you want to do is return the ball back in the court. Not the best for spin, but definitely not bad in that department either. It's a 98, yes, but a Yonex 98 and it's a 16 by 19 so you can kind of have an idea. The v core is probably better at that, but still. Backhands, I wouldn't say that it's the racket that makes me feel the best about my backhand shot. My Gravity Pro does a better job at that. However, it's still nothing to sneeze at. I could do both, open short angles and aggressively switch down the line with great confidence and speed. Balling is pretty good too. It's stable, maneuverable and powerful. Deep, uncomfortable volleys were very easy to execute. Combine that with a massive serve and you get one of the best rackets for serving volleys. Maybe a bigger head would help a little bit when you, you know, miss hit a volley and don't hit it with a perfect center, but you can deal with that. Returns, just like with the previous version, feel marvelous. Great stability and easy power really help at aggressively starting the point, even from the defending position. The design, now, honestly with Yonex rackets, design is the last thing I care about. But like, the lastestest thing I care about. It's dark blue. 
works for me. This racket will be perfect for aggressive baseliners, all quarters and serve and volley players. The 100 version once again will most likely be a better option if you like to play in the defense. And in terms of myself and switching to the new E-Zone, like, it is really tempting. I really like the racket and I know I could set it up to fit me perfectly. However, buying four rackets and a bag is a pretty massive investment considering we don't really have any discounts or benefits or anything. So I'm gonna have to really think a lot about it in the next few days. Maybe weeks. Um, months? Yo guys, you might be wondering why are we laying on the court, Arik? Uh, we are wondering as well. About yeah. <laughs> guys, but, yeah. We're, we're recording this to say if you're enjoying this content, why not subscribe? And also, also follow us on Instagram. By the way, did anyone notice that on the footage of, of me swiping through our Instagram, Arig is swiping through In something else? Something else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Leave us a comment below if you understood the joke. Not, not anymore because it has 4,000 dates, you know? <laughs> but yeah. Yo, yo, Arig, what's up? What's up? I'm gonna go till the end of the court and you're gonna throw the racket to me and I'm gonna catch it like this. Easy. Okay. All right. It's all about confidence okay. and a ton of luck. But okay. <laughs> bye -bye. Guys, this is a really bad idea. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm going on. Huh? Should I? <laughs> Alright, so what are your thoughts <laughs> on this EZO 98? <laughs> okay. Man, we know how the story goes, no? Already. Yonex. E zone, so I'm gonna like it, you're gonna love it. So I'm ready to have the most annoying friend in the world because Grisha is not gonna stop talking about this for the last for the next two years maybe. So guys by the way I, I still haven't played with it. I but, still haven't. Yeah but it's not necessary like so let's see how it goes. Personally I kind of uh, like complaining about stuff so I hate when a racket is decent in every aspect it makes my life more boring and the Yonex Izo 98 definitely enters in the category of all-rounder rackets but the key thing to notice here is the fact that it's just decent in every aspect and doesn't stand out in any specific feature or detail therefore it makes my life even more boring great for example the feeling is fabulous as it's very soft on the impact so even after hitting big winners all the time as i'm sure that you guys do because you're from the glads family your arm will stay intact without provoking any kind of arm pain so even though sometimes i was missing the ball way out i was still feeling like i'm the sh because the feeling of the impact is just so nice. But then it doesn't provide me as much good touch sensation as for example the Pro Stuff 97. Therefore I didn't feel like I could do drop shots whenever and wherever I wanted. So on the field compartment it's decent but not outstanding. Once again, serving with this stick was interesting. Seems like it's robotically programmed to strike wide serves on both service boxes. Whenever I was going for a wide slice serve or a kick wide serve, the racket was doing the serve motion by itself. But then the T serves, hehehe, <laughs> that's a whole another story and not very pleasing one. On the volleys, the sweet spot is huge. Even the handle is part of the sweet spot. Doesn't matter wherever the ball contacts with the racket, the control is still there. Forehands had this strange feeling that when I was giving my all to hit a powerful shot, the speed wasn't as, as I was expecting. But on the other hand, whenever we were in a neutral rally where my only intention was to keep the ball in, unexpectedly, I was producing some great deep forehands. Backhands were nice as well. It has some speed providing nature, so I was able to hit long rallies where my opponent wasn't getting the initiative when playing to my backhand. Oh, and finally I should mention that even though it's not surprisingly great in any aspect, on the return it had like a glow up moment and I fell in love. If you hit the ball right in front of you with a small swing, you will be able to return any serve, even if it's the serve of a player as tall as Tour Eiffel called Grisha. Thank you, check out the greats.
Christian needs coaching to win me a point. <laughs>